In the wilderness, there is a battlefield for various animal species. The giant predator, the Komodo dragon, strikes fear into the hearts of other animals. The Komodo attacks a python, bringing it down, while a buffalo falls a victim to the Komodo's assault. Even a crocodile, in defense of its eggs, faces the wrath of the Komodo. So which animal species have the ability to triumph over the Komodo dragon? Or will they all succumb to its predatory prowess? 30 moments of wild animals missing with the wrong Komodo. In the National Park, the Komodo dragon is asserting dominance over the python. With approximately 60 sharp teeth, the Komodo easily subdues the python with swift side-to-side -side head jerks. Naturally, after the battle, the python succumbs as the prey to the Komodo. If you're surprised by the power of the Komodo, comment one right now in the comment section to let us know if yes. And if no, comment two. And now let's go back in the video. Ambushing is the hunting strategy of many animal species. And the Komodo dragon is no exception. We lurk behind clusters of trees, launching surprise attacks for non-suspecting prey. A single fight is all it takes. The buffalo is wounded, but unable to escape the Komodo. Or it has fallen a victim to them. The war job the Komodo houses two battles delivery grinds. The Komodo's venom, a form of proteins, enters the bloodstream. This substance acts as anticoagulant, causing the prey to come shortly after being bit. And so, the Komodo only needs to patiently await the unfolding of a grand feast. To protect its eggs, the Komodo is ready to engage in battles with a crocodile. The Komodo seizes the initiative, and the crocodile could face death when it was struck by the Komodo's venom. <laughs> Internal conflicts among animal species are also common. Among Komodo dragons, the two engage in battles to determine the strongest. The reward for the victorious is respect. A vast territory, abundant praise, and even potential mates. The Komodo dragons fight immune to their own venom. However, the defeater can also become a prey for the victor. When food becomes scarce, nothing goes to waste. One of the non-venomous snake species is the python. Boasting a massive body reaching up to 25 feet, it relies on the size advantage to attempt to constrict the Komodo. Unfortunately, the Komodo is not easily defeated. The sharp teeth of the Komodo are used to attack the python. The colossal snake's body is heavily injured. In the end, the python succumbs to the Komodo. The Komodo can even turn the python into its prey. Giant prey pose a significant challenge for many predators, but not for the Komodo. They do not have to struggle in a fight. A single bite is all they need. The saliva seeps into the buffalo's wound. Within just an hour, the anticoagulant protein causes muscle paralysis and death. Nothing hinders the giant predator from having a grand feast.
It can be said that a Komodo can subdue almost any wild animal. Normally, wild horses have a few predators as they possess a powerful kick exceeding 3,000 psi, a force capable of causing death. However, the Komodos are quite different from other animals, as it is not difficult for them to bring down a wild horse. And of course, it only takes one bite. With smaller preys, the Komodo does not need to use its venom. It simply controls the prey with its mouth and then swallows it whole. Meals are executed relatively quickly with smaller preys, like the monkeys. Each feeding, the Komodo can consume up to 80% of its body weight. Therefore, the Komodo needs to swiftly move on to the next prey. Despite being envenomed by the Komodo, wild boars still have time to run away. However, the way Komodo locates its prey is by using its tongue. The tongue collects scents and transfers them to the sensory organs located to the roof of its mouth. Komodos can pinpoint the prey's location through scent within a range of 2.5 miles. After that, the Komodo simply leisurely seeks and consumes its meal. In an open field, it is a survival battle between the Komodo and the wild boars. This prey is small but full of vitality, expending its last bit of strength to escape the Komodo. However, this predator knows no failure, and that meal was ridiculously easy for the Komodo. The hunter brings the most surprises is undoubtedly the Komodo. They can skillfully use their tails as a springboard to leap high. This advantage is allowing the Komodos to even hunt bats. And of course, it remains a successful hunting endeavor. In addition to hunting, Komodo dragons have the ability to consume carrion. They seek out these free meals when food sources become scarce. On the other hand, the limited food supply on the islands where Komodos reside forces them to resort to this for survival. Living around islands, Komodo dragons have the ability to swim and hunt in the sea. When the tide rises, it brings various marine carcasses. As the tide recedes, the motors emerge to forage for food. A baby shark quickly fills the hungry belly of the Komodo. Despite possessing sharp teeth, the Komodo dragons do not use them for chewing. They use them for attacking and tearing food apart. When hunting goats, which have average-sized hooves, the Komodo dragons can swallow them whole. Goats are also among the preferred prey for the Komodo. In the dry river bed, the Komodo discovers the carcass of a baby python. 
It knows this is a meal for it, but the amount of food is too little, and the Komodo will have to seek a larger prey then to provide enough sustenance for the day. Komodo is a large predator, equipped with unique weapons and hunting tactics. All of its behaviors follows natural instincts and adheres to the laws of nature. So beyond Komodos, there are many other animals that are waiting for you to explore. So no need to take your eyes off the screen. Let's continue watching the most brutal battles in the wild that we've just compiled. Indonesia consists of 80,306 small and large islands where there is a rich ecosystem of flora and fauna. However, to encounter a predator resembling prehistoric dinosaurs, you should pay a visit to four islands. Komodo, Rinka, Flores and Gilimota. The four islands are the sanctuaries of the giant predator, the Komodo dragon. These creatures are massive in size, reaching up to 10 feet in length and weighing around 70 kg, dominating the local ecosystem. Their kin is covered in scales and reinforced with a sturdy bone structure, forming an incredibly resilient armor. The Commodore Dragon possesses long claws that serve as perfect tools for seizing food. It still acts as both a weapon and a rudder, enabling it to swim on the water like a harpoon. Commodores can swim up to a third of a mile from one island to another in search of food and potential mates. Their susceptibility allows them to thrive in these harsh island environments. Surviving in one of the driest environments, Commodores also consume a wide variety of foods. They primarily hunt for invertebrates, birds and mammals, and even carry it. Commodores rely on a single bite to execute their hunting strategy. Why just one bite? Because the Commodore Dragon possesses venom in its bite, making it one of the few venomous species. This venom is used to weaken and incapacitate their prey. The common dragon will stroke its prey, and when it gets close enough, it will attack with a single bite that contains venom. In 2009, biochemist Brian Fry from the University of Queensland discovered that this animal has two small venom glands in its lower jaw that release various toxic proteins. Additionally, its saliva contains over 50 different types of bacteria. These substances prevent blood from clothing and induce muscle paralysis, ultimately leading to depressed demise. After the bite, all the commodore needs to do is wait for the fist to fall.
from a distance of about 4 to 9.5 kilometers, this giant predator can also flick its tongue and accurately determine the prey's location. Its long forked tongue, similar to a snake's, serves as a specialized tool for locating food, oriented towards the target. The tip of the tongue detects the air and collects scent particles. Each time the target is retracted, the sensory information is sent to an organ called Jacobson organ in the roof of the mouth for analysis. Furthermore, the combination of swinging its head from side to side can sample a significant amount of air and detect the scent of carrion from a considerable distance. For larger prey, the commander needs to employ its bite as a more significant weapon. They often bite into the throat and other side of the prey. A female commando, measuring 2.5 meters in length and weighing 50 kg, can consume a 31 kg wild boar wall within approximately 17 minutes. The Commodore Dragon possesses over 60 teeth, each approximately 2.5 cm long, shaped like fishing hooks, with serrated edges inside for tearing the prey's flesh. These teeth carry banana saliva that contains toxic substances injected into the prey's body. A smaller commodo, around 1.6 meters long, can carry about 30 mg of venom. Remarkably, only 16 mg of this species' venom is sufficient to swiftly kill a 40 kg deer. In a single bite from a commodo dragon, releasing just 4 mg of venom is enough to immobilize the prey in a short period. Even if the prey manages to escape after that initial bite, it doesn't survive for long. Subsequently, the commodo uses its remarkable tongue to track down the carcasses of prey. They know that the meal will arrive sooner than they might think, and the waiting is not for too long. Each feeding, a commodore can consume an amount of food equivalent to 80% of its body weight. This is equivalent to a human eating around 260 hamburgers. In addition to the prey they actively hunt, commodore dragons also consume a substantial amount of carrion. Marine organisms are also not exempt from their mining. Although they tend to swallow their prey whole, they are the one of the most frequent reptiles to replace their teeth, a process that can occur four to five times throughout their lifespan. The island's most extensive coastline with pristine white sandy beaches. 
creating a beautiful landscape. However, it's also the place where Commodore seeks sustenance. Being skilled swimmers, what Commodores are more interested in is the washed up remains of marine creatures along the shores. If the food sources on the island are scarce, this becomes an excellent spot to find nourishment. Alternatively, they are capable of swimming for miles between islands in search of food. The Komodo dragon is a giant predator that lives on Komodo Island in Indonesia. They are carnivorous animals that eat almost all living creatures from big to small. In addition to land animals, Commodores are also adept swimmers and are very skilled at hunting in the open sea. But they are also scavengers that eat decaying flesh. Commodores go to the coastline to catch dead skids, fish and sharks to eat. They swallow everything whole. They have a habit of going to the coastline to eat and then returning to the forest with a full stomach. Commodores primarily live in dense forests where there is an abundant food source available for them. The animals that Commodores love to eat are goats and deer. When they catch their prey, Commodores use their large mouth to swallow them whole. Commodores are large predators, but they are also venomous with every bite. The lower jaw of a Commodore contains venom, which can cause non-fatal bites, but can make buffaloes bleed profusely. The venom of a Commodore causes the blood not to clot, resulting in buffaloes becoming poisoned and dying. That's why Commodores can kill prey that is 10 times larger than them. Commodores can wait patiently for this large prey even when they are hungry. Commodo doesn't need to exert too much effort to kill a buffalo calf, as it can simply bite and cheer the small prey to death. Despite the large size of a buffalo mother, they are no much for this vicious predator, and it's heartbreaking to see their young ones being hunted down. Marine creatures stranded on the shore rarely have the opportunity to be rescued and return to the open sea.
as predators are always lurking and waiting for them. The salivating mouth of the Komodo forms a large gap in mouth as it eagerly crafts its prey. The Madryn creatures stand little chance against the Komodo, which engulfs them within seconds. You see, the greedy one is the one who doesn't miss anything. From carcasses to live creatures, the Komodo diverse them all. Even domesticated animals are not spared from the claws of the Komodo. Hunting them poses no challenge, and the only limitation is when the prey is too small. The Komodo continues to conquer any prey it encounters. Falling within the Komodo's gaze is equivalent to falling within the sight of death itself. In the islands of Indonesia, in the habitat of a large species of lizard that has existed for millions of years, the Komodo dragon. Bite. They can bring down prey much larger than themselves with just one bite, up to 10 times their size. In a fight, perhaps just a step or a strike from the horn of a buffalo will be enough to defeat the Komodo. But for the Komodo dragon, one bite is all it takes. Why does just one bite from a Komodo dragon complete its hunting journey? In 2009, researchers discovered that Komodos possess venom, making them one of the few venomous lizard species on the planet. The venom in Komodos is in the form of proteins secreted from glands in the lower jaw, along with the saliva containing over 50 different types of bacteria. These substances prevent the buffalo's blood from clotting and induce muscle paralysis, ultimately leading to death. Commodores have a forked tongue similar to snakes, which helps them detect the scent of prey from distances of 4 to 9.5 kilometers. After the bite, all the Komodo does it wait to enjoy its meal. They can consume an amount of food up to 80% of their body weight in a single feeding, with an average Komodo weighing around 70 kg, a massive amount of food and everything is swallowed whole by the Komodo. Meanwhile, a lion can consume up to 30 kg of meat in a single feeding, almost half the average body weight of a Komodo, making the hunt for larger prey like buffalo necessary. Lions often hunt in groups to take down larger prey. The 
females take the lead in hunting, selecting the prey from one hiding place to another. When they are close enough, the lionesses initiate a check. Lions attack large buffaloes from behind, delivering bites with a force of up to 457,000 kg per meter per square to swiftly bring down the prey. Normally, they bite the throat of the prey until it suffocates. Young lions with less experience take more time with such prey. It takes about 17 hours for lions to bring down a larger prey, compared to the single bite of a commodore. What are your thoughts on this? You can witness the danger and strength of the Commodore, but that doesn't reflect the fact that their existence may not be everlasting. As the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, has listed the Commodore Dragon as a threatened species. The increase in human population on the islands has led to the narrowing of the Commodore Dragon's habitat coupled with significant hunting pressure. The IUCN believes that there are now fewer than 1,400 Commodore Dragons remaining in the world. However, in Indonesia, the Commodore National Park was established in 1980 to safeguard the Commodore Dragon from adverse impacts. Preserving the wild species also contributes to the conservation of the ecological diversity of the wild environment. The Kamado dragon is a large lizard species that has existed from prehistoric times to the present day. On the islands of Indonesia, they are the most dangerous predators. They prefer to eat small goods, although they also consume a significant amount of carrion. When they catch their prey, they often take it to a safe location to avoid the scrutiny of other Commodore dragons. Commodore dragons have two glands in their lower jaws that secrete a variety of toxic proteins, which have been demonstrated to possess anticoagulant properties. This is the weapon that allows Commodore dragons to subdue prey that is up to 10 times larger than themselves. This wild boar weakened after being bitten by a Commodore Dragon. The Commodore Dragon only needs to wait long enough for the prey to succumb to its injuries and then it will approach and indulge. The reason they can look at prey even if it tries to escape is because Commodore Dragons can detect the scent of their prey from distances ranging from 4 to 9.5 kilometers. Commodore Dragons weigh around 70 kilograms. They have a fairly large body but move very swiftly compared to species of similar size. The baby goat has been separated from the herd and is under attack. Against this giant predator, it has no escape.
With such small prey, Komodo dragons often don't need to inject venom into them. They simply swallow their prey whole. The food source of the Komodo dragon is diverse, as they can eat almost anything. They look at prey using their long tongue, which they use to sample the air and smell, coupled with the habit of raising and lowering their heads to catch scents. In this way, Commodore Dragons can locate a monkey and dispatch the prey in just a matter of minutes. A quick and efficient meal. It seems that not many people are aware that the Commodore Dragon is also a skilled swimmer. They are excellent swimmers and can swim from one island to another in search of food or mates. Therefore, hunting along the coastlines is not a challenge for them. They eat everything, whether it's marine creatures or terrestrial animals. All are potential prey for the Commodore Dragon. When the tide recedes, many marine spaces become stranded, and that's when the Commodore Dragons emerge to search for a meal. Sometimes they come across fish, eels, or certain species like turtles, and occasionally even baby sharks. Food sources on the island are limited, leading them to hunt domesticated animals in people's homes and occasionally scavenging carrion. Chickens, to these dying predators, are just a small part of the Commodore Dragon's diet. Even ducks, for example, are prey for Commodore Dragons. Their hunting strategy is always characterized by stealth and sudden attacks. Chasing after prey might not be difficult, but this is their unique hunting tactic. Each Commodore Dragon can consume an amount of food equivalent to 80% of its body weight, which is comparable to a person eating 260 hamburgers in one meal. It might sound insane, but they truly are meat enthusiasts. And hunting large prey like buffaloes isn't surprising, as that provides enough sustenance for one of their males. Commodore dragons also engage in battles with other species, although we mostly observe them hunting. In the presence of a king cobra, a dangerous bananas predator, the Commodore Dragon can easily overcome this threat. It steps on the cobra's head, 
paralyzing the prey until the cobra stops moving. This demonstrates its status as the top predator on this island. When hunting, Commodores usually kill their prey quite easily. As for this wild boar, although it was poisoned, it was still extremely strong and fought back against the Komodo with its bite. However, it could not survive the vicious predator, which only waited for it to die from the venom. Dragging the wild boar to a safe place away from the watchful eyes of other commodos, it greedily swallowed the wild boar wall. However, this greed caused the commodo as it was hard to digest and eventually regurgitated the wild boar. Still greedy, the Commodore tried to swallow its favorite prey again. Commodore eats everything they encounter. From chickens in the backyard to river eels. Everything is swallowed by the Komodo in just a moment before they can resist. In murky waters, there are often carcasses of long dead animals. Komodo uses its tongue like a snake to locate the position of these decaying carcasses. They will find them to hunt for food, such as buffaloes and large string graves. With free meals like these, Komodo is very excited. When the food source is no longer sufficient to satisfy the bottomless pit of Komodo's stomach, they will resolve to their greed and kill their own kind. Komodo is trying to swallow a smaller Komodo. We can see the cruelty of Komodo that makes us feel frightened. Or as we see two Komodo dragons dragging the carcasses of an unfortunate Komodo to continue to eat it. It's too brutal. Komodo not only hunts ruthlessly but also engages in intense battles with each other. Can you imagine how fierce their fights can be? In these moments, you can see Commodore's battles like those in history. They are like warriors with tremendous strength. Commodore dragons are capable of hunting and consuming a wide variety of animal species. With larger prey, they only require a single bite and patiently wait for the prey to gradually weaken. This method, aided by their venomous bite, allows Commodore dragons to save time and effort. This wild boar has fallen victim to the Commodore dragon's venom, and now the predator begins the process of dealing with its prey.
it has chosen the familiar method of swallowing the prey whole. There is hardly any prey that can escape the pursuit of a Commodore Dragon. The same goes for the deer. It attempted to flee from the Commodore Dragon. But the speed of the Commodore Dragon is remarkable. Catching up with the deer near the shoreline. Although the deer might have told that diving into the water could save its life, the Commodore Dragon's bite is sufficient to cause the deer to succumb within a few hours. However, the Commodore Dragons managed to catch up and immediately indulge in the delicious prey. Not only do Commodore Dragons hunt wild animal species, but they also prey on domesticated animals. Take a look at how it devours the chicken, swiftly and efficiently, true to the Commodore Dragon's style. Even monkeys are not spared by Commodore Dragons. They swallow everything within their sight. These prey items contribute to the Commodore Dragon population's further growth and development. One way for Commodore Dragons to survive and thrive when food sources are scarce is by consuming carrion. These predators have an exceptional sense of smell, allowing them to detect the scent of animals from a great distance. They accurately locate the source and have a satisfying meal, ensuring they are well fed. This Commodore Dragon has detected the carcass of a baby goat with its keen tongue. Swiftly, it engulfs the found prey effortlessly. This meal will suffice to keep the Commodore Dragon full for the next few days. The jungle with the natural law of the Commodore Dragon is a top predator. And this is how the Commodore Dragon eats its by forcefully swallowing baby wild boars whole. In a remote island in Asia, where prehistoric monsters reign, these predators are known as Commodore Dragons. These giants are so powerful that they can kill creatures much larger than themselves with just one bite. With sharp and sturdy claws and a tail that acts like a ruder, they can swim effortlessly. The Commodore's long forked tongue is the perfect weapon to detect food from two miles away.
Another secret weapon that the Commodores conceal is their venom. You may think that Commodores are not venomous. But with just one bite, they can incapacitate their prey. However, it takes a few days for the venom to take effect. Amongst Commodores, there are battles for dominance. The strongest attacks and the victor rises to the top, gaining the favor of potential mates. With their swift and agile attacks, coupled with a venomous bite, Commodores can easily paralyze their prey with just one bite. Commodores harbor around 60 deadly strains of bacteria that have the ability to immobilize their prey. What it waits for is the moment when the prey succumbs to its fate. And it follows the trail to indulge in the feast. The Commodore's attack is like an incredible conquest over its prey. And the wild boar is not an easy opponent to deal with. However, no creature can escape the venom of the comedy. Once the prey has absorbed enough venom, displacing signs of impending death. Kamado simply approaches and engulfs the wild boar wall. The instinctual attack behavior of the Kamado towards his prey is astonishing to observers. One foot is right in front of them, not a single opportunity is missed. A group of Commodores becomes intrigued by any prey they come across, and their competition is demonstrated through each of their actions. Commodores are also scavengers. The food source on the island doesn't always provide enough for them. So even the decaying carcasses they come across become a delicious and intestine meal for them. The habitat of the Komodo is located on the Komodo Island in Indonesia, making them excellent underwater athletes. Komodos can swim long distances to search for food and find mates. Marine creatures are not exempt from the Komodo's list of prey. It can devour anything within its sight.
On a remote island in Indonesia, there exists a species of giant predator known as the Komodo dragon. Komodos possess massive bodies, large mouths, and venom glands located in their lower jaws. The saliva of Komodo dragons contains numerous bacteria that can cause infections when they come into contact with worms. When the prey is bitten, these bacteria quickly paralyze it, leading to its eventual demise. With small prey like these goats, the Commodore Dragon doesn't need to spend much time. It swiftly overpowers the prey and swallows it whole. Typically, during hunting expeditions, Komodo dragons often choose goats as their preferred prey. The sharp teeth of the Komodo dragon are capable of expertly tearing apart the flesh of their prey. Some of the dragons swiftly subdue their prey, and they will carry it to a safe location before beginning to consume it, to avoid the prying eyes of other Komodo dragons. This time is no different, as the Komodo dragon successfully overpowers its prey and brings it to a secure spot. The meal is of utmost importance as they cannot let it fall into the hands of other Komodo dragons. Existing on Komodo Island, they are undoubtedly idle underwater hunters. They can swim several miles away to hunt their prey. thanks to their long and powerful tails that serve as propellers, enabling Commodore Dragons to swim swiftly. It is heading towards the shoreline in search of food, and in no time, the baby shark falls prey to the Commodore Dragons' grasp. This prey can only temporarily satisfy the hunger of the formidable predator. Only colossal sea creatures can satisfy the greed of the Komodo dragon. It has captured a tuna, effortlessly handling its prey. This is a proficient and professional action by the Komodo dragon. In this scenario, a coalition of male lions is attempting to secure a satisfying meal. However, observe how the buffalo resists them. With its large body, the buffalo uses its advantage to toss aside the lion's claws. Furthermore, its sharp pointed horns serve as a weapon to fend off the menacing lions. Ultimately, the lands end up being the loser in their own hearts. And if, indeed, the confrontation between lions and Komodo were to occur in the world, you can probably anticipate the outcome, can't you? Feel free to leave a comment to let us know your thoughts.
In another encounter between a lion and a monitor lizard, a relative of the Commodore Dragon, we can observe that the lion seems somewhat wary in the presence of the monitor lizard. The lizard still is used as a weapon to attack the lion. The moment when eight lions encounter a new monitor lizard, these epic predators become somewhat perplexed. While the monitor lizard lacks the venom of a commodo, it still manages to intimidate the lions. So, when the giant predator commodo faces off against a lion, do you have faith that the commodo will emerge victorious? The Commodore might or might not win, but it's certain that the success rate of Commodore Dragons in hunting is higher than that of Lions. For smaller prey, Commodores don't need to wait around before eating. They directly swallow a teeny prey like this goat after bringing it to a safe location to avoid the prying eyes of others. The Commodore runs on land at speeds of up to 20 km per hour, 12 mph. To chase down its prey because its speed isn't particularly fast compared to other predators, it often opts for an ambush strategy when hunting. However, when hunting smaller prey like goats, even if the goat tries to escape, it can't evade the deadly attack of the Commodore. The Commodore possesses a powerful bite force about five times that of a human, around 600 pounds per square inch. Its teeth are approximately 2.5 cm long and it secretes venom to paralyze its prey, such as wild boar. Even if a wild boar were to resist, it will be futile since not long after the Commodore's bite, it will succumb to death. The Commodore consumes everything it encounters, from large to small animals, both on land and in water, and even decaying carcasses. There are agile swimmers and active athletes on the vast islands of Indonesia. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like right now in this video, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications bell so you never miss out on any of our upcoming wildlife videos. See you again. Hello, welcome to Animal Moments channel. Animal Moments is a channel to explore the wild animal world. We bring dramatic, exciting, and creepy scenes when wild animals come across their competitors. Do you love to see wild animals like leopards, lions, tigers, hyenas or hippos? 
fight for their lives, subscribe to the channel to watch videos that are broadcast regularly every day. I hope you're having a relaxing moment on the channel and all moments. Goodbye and see you in our next video.